Welcome to the universe. Hi, I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson, co-author of this recently released book from Princeton U University Press. And I've got my two co-authors. One of them is named J. Richard Gott III. And the other one is, where's his name? Michael Strauss. And so here we go. Rich Gott, mm -hmm. Michael Strauss. Here we are. Yeah, I'm loving it. So we wrote, we co-wrote this book because we co-taught a course some years ago at Princeton, trying to get universe going mm -hmm. to the undergraduates there. Mm -hmm. so, so what's up with that? Well, this is a course that uh, was meant uh, for astronomers and non-astronomers to uh, bring the universe to the masses, as it were, and we use this book as a way to explain uh, how the universe works and try to give you some understanding of not just all the wonders out there, but how we know what we know. So trying to bring the universe down to Earth. Uh, that would be a fun way to say Rich. it. Rich? We try to tell you, uh, everybody reads the book, whether you've read one book on astronomy or none or many, we try to tell everybody something new, like how do we drive equals mc squared? And what's the c doing in it? <laughs> so things like that. Yeah, that is the that's the big first question because you learn you learn equals mc squared before you have any idea. Well, you know the e stands for energy and the m stands for mass. What the hell is the speed of light doing in there? And it's squared. Yeah. What's up with that? Well, usually they have Einstein at a blackboard writing e equals mc and then e equals mc squared. Oh, good, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> We told you where it actually comes from and why why energy and mass can be interchanged. Well, the one I saw was E equals M A squared. No, oh. e equals M B squared. No. E equals M C squared. That's yes, it. Got it. <laughs> um, so uh, this so it's not really a textbook. It's a it's a I think of it as a celebration of modern astrophysics. Because I've written books before, but none of them had had the punch. Yeah, it's got this the real goes, meat. It's, we it's, got the real it's, meat in there. It's <laughs> it's, it's got. Uh, if you want to understand the, the machinery behind all that you've learned, uh, reading popular level books in astrophysics, this is the book for you. And how we got this knowledge? It's all there. Uh, it's a great triumph of uh, human civilization. How we learned all this about the universe. So I. I wrote a third of the book, uh, Mike wrote another third, and Rich wrote the other third. I'm the first, basically the first third of the chapters on planets and stars. And in there, we even I ha had to resurrect the Pluto issue. Uh -huh. Just had to again? just get that one. <laughs> I had to. <laughs> I just had. Let me let me dispatch <laughs> with this so we can get on to the stories. Why, how, and why Pluto was demoted. Rich then picks up the book talking no, about. My, my I mean, Mike. <laughs> That's rich. Uh, <laughs> Michael then picks up the book with uh, galaxies and oh, that's right, and, and the expanding universe and understanding how that what that tells us about uh, the Big Bang and our modern cosmology. Cool, cool. And then, is there any place to go after that? Well, there's, well, <laughs> there's apparently <everything> else. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rich, we go from Pluto to the Big Bang, and then you step in. I, I, I didn't. I, this sounds like there's nothing left for you. Well, I tell you about Einstein and because he's your the, man. He's my man. You know, you know who's my man? Newton. 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 Newton's He's my the man. Best according to you. Yeah, that's Newton. Right. Newton. Well, Einstein, I tell about special relativity, ideas of space and time. I tell about general relativity, his theory of curved space time to explain gravity, and then I talk about cosmology. Then and then you're done. That we're pretty yeah. done. <laughs> <laughs> So, any final thoughts about the book? Well, Michael. we're really excited to have it out there. It really covers everything from the planets to the Big Bang, as we just heard, and and, and beyond to multiverses. Uh, and it's uh, wonderful to be able to tell the world about uh, the field that gets us so excited. Yeah, cool. Rich? When you're born, you become a citizen of the universe, so uh, you should be curious about your surroundings, and this book will help you with that. That sounds very Carl Sagan. Yes. Citizen of the universe. <laughs> Citizen of the universe. Uh, I would say that if there was only one book that you were to buy uh, where you wanted to connect yourself to the cosmos, then uh, this is it. And it's it because even if you're, if you're equation phobic, but there are equations in here. Let, let's just admit that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah we're yeah, we're yeah. proud of that. We, we got it. <laughs> <laughs> um, the point is it's written so that you can just breeze by the equations because it has a lot of sort of wit, fun, and humor about why we celebrate, why and how we celebrate our place in the universe. So if there's just one book that you will own, 
that you will grow with and become ever more connected to the cosmos. I think this is the one. Yeah. yeah. Right. Sounds you got good. it. All right. Okay, good. Uh, the three tenors sign. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right. Okay. You got okay. it.